Hi, in this video we are going to be talking about three fundamental terminologies or a set of terminologies for circuit analysis. The fundamental set of terminologies for circuit analysis that we use. The first one is branches, the second one is nodes and the third one is loops. So assuming that we have this circuit as the given one in this problem and we need to identify three things namely number one. Uh, well, yes. Number one, we have to identify the number of nodes in this circuit and the number of branches on the second position. And then we have to identify the number of loops in this circuit. So, we'll start off with the basic definition that we have and the basic definition is that of branches how many branches do we have in this circuit all we need to do is to count the number of components of this circuit or the number of elements in order to find out the number of branches that this circuit encapsulates and this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five so we have a total of five different branches for this circuit I'm going to write five over here the next one is the number of nodes so all we need to see is the intersection or the joint that two or more branches have in common and with this uh, we have the basic definition of nodes here it is this is joint number one this is joint number two and actually all of this is a common joint right and all of these branches are joined commonly at the bottom so we have a we have B and then we have C we have three nodes so I'm going to write three over here now the final thing what are loops and loops actually are closed paths through which the current may pass in this circuit we have how many closed paths do we have we have closed path number one we have closed path number two and then we have closed path number three so you see we have three closed paths or three loops and i'm going to write three over here now loops are also called meshes and with this i'm going to write mesh here one loop stands for one mesh so uh, this is loop one or uh, loop x that is mesh x and then there is mesh y and then there is mesh z suppose we have this circuit with us whereas we have a 10 volt source over here a 5 ohms resistor over here a 6 ohms resistor over here and a 2 ampere current source over here so we first need to identify the number of branches as i've told you already the number of branches is calculated using the total number of components that we have so we have component number one over here component number two over here component number three here and component number four altogether there are four branches and we can say that there are four components of the circuit as well so four branches now the connecting points of these branches are going to be given by the number of nodes how many connecting points do we have we have point number one which is which connects branch number one and branch number two we have point number two which connects let me do it again we have point number two which connects branches two three and four and then we have a point that connects all four of these branches all three of these branches actually not the fourth not counting the second one uh, here on the third node we have branch number one connected branch number three connected and branch number four connected branch number two is away so we have three branches connected all together we have three nodes in this way uh, we may call them a B and C so we have three different nodes available how many loops are there a loop 
can be defined as a closed path in a circuit through which a current flows without any breaks or discrepancies and then we need to see how many loops we have so if a current starts from here it will go all the way back here and so on so this is loop x which is the first one and then we have if a current flows from this path to this part then we have the y loop which is the second loop so altogether we have two loops let's move on to the next problem suppose we have at hand this circuit where this source is sorry this resistor is of 1 ampere this resistor is of 2 amperes this resistor is of 5 amperes this current source independent current source is of 10 volts and this resistor is of 4 volts we don't need to be considering the magnitudes or the values of these components all we need to see is the counting or the number of these elements for branches how many branches do we have in this circuit we have component number one here component two component three component four and component five so all together we have five branches now the connecting points of these branches let's have a look at the connecting points the first and the second branch is connected here and branch number three is also connected to this point and branch number three on the other hand is connected on this point as well where branch number four and branch number five are also connected and lastly we have branches one two three four and five not the third branch the four branches are connected at the bottom as well so all together we have let's name them a b and c we have actually three nodes how many loops do we have in this circuit we have the first closed path that is x we have the second closed path that is y and then we have the third closed path that is z according to us so all together we have three loops or three meshes in this circuit hope you like this video subscribe to our channel for more updates about electrical engineering and circuit analysis this is Rafi Khan from Dean Persiskan signing off